Hey guys, what's up? It's Dusty here, back with another crypto video. And today, I have a very special video for you guys, as today is a very important day for the crypto space, a day that actually might end up in the history books, and I hope you're excited because I am too. But first, make sure you press the like button on this video right now and put a comment down below because at the end of this month, we're going to be giving away $500 worth of crypto and all that you have to do is make sure you press the like button and comment something down below. Also, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and the Dusty channel because we're going to try posting a lot of really cool content. And also, any comment that you place on any of these videos will be counted towards the total where uh, a winner will be picked from. Also, guys, make sure you check out Dusty. I just posted a video on there a couple of hours ago, my first video ever on my second channel, and I really would like it if you guys to check it out. Uh, there's no advertisements, no affiliate links, anything in there, so just make sure you check it out for fun. Now, as I said before, today might mark one of the most important days in the crypto space ever. I, I don't want to exaggerate, but it's a very important date. And it is also fun because a lot of people are not realizing it yet. What is happening today is a really big shift in the market. Really, really a big one. So what we're seeing right now is the XRP to BTC chart is really starting to gain all right if we're looking at it here xrp is up 0.2 percent on the day which was about two and a half percent earlier today but the better part is that btc is going down by almost four percent and xrp and a lot of these other currencies are still in the green of course that results in the uh the the status of versus btc to be even further in the green so xrp versus btc is now up 4.3 percent you actually don't see that too often, but now we've been seeing it for five out of the last six days, which is really quite a bullish sign in my opinion here. I'm really quite enthusiastic and excited for this, um, as again, this is showing something. Now, Crypto BitLord took to Twitter to say, XRP should outpace BTC from here, at least to the end of the year. Also, a high chance it will flip Bitcoin if what we know is true. And then a popcorn emoji. He added to that, already started from yesterday we are up 3.5 percent against bitcoin this is just a start moon 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 john doe uh real john doe on twitter replied he said bro you be trolling or you crazy or us know something we don't and the fun part about it is that <clears throat> he doesn't know something that we don't he just knows how patterns work he's most likely an avid trader been in the space for a long time and he knows that once we really start to see a shift in in momentum here so we start to see xrp outperforming btc or in this case going down less than btc is it could be one of those crucial moments where a, sh a shift happens in the total market and again that's why today is so important really a lot of you guys are not are not seeing it yet but it's really quite important and uh dai as you guys pronounce it also said added a meme there now say my name you know xrp it's, it's kind of funny now background house also posted something really cool on twitter which is adding to the whole effect here so next to of course the bank of america penned next to of course all the swift rumors and all the swift speculation and, and positiveness we also got this the q2 report the q2 2019 xrp markets report outlines the steps we are taking to address the issue of inflated reported volumes and dives deep into the XRP performers this quarter. And we actually uh, should go over this at one point, but maybe not now into the fullest detail, as I would like to really take my time uh, to go over everything. But Barry Gollinghouse himself stated, in this nascent industry, we need to be transparent and urge others to do the same. As a, res as a responsible stakeholder of XRP, Ripple is confronting this issue by updating the benchmark for market volume and reducing future sales of XRP. RP. So guys, the situation here is actually really positive and Doug for show is actually tagging a lot of people right there because again, this is no joke. And are you actually looking at the people he's tagging here? It's not no not no influencers. These are big players. These are big Twitter accounts, all the people that really need to see this type of stuff to understand how they're moving forward. If we move forward a little bit further though, XP Research Center on Twitter, XP Center said July 24th, 2019, breaking. Ripple XP market report for Q2 is out. Number of XRP transactions increased 170% from Q1 to Q2. 
and Ripple had a 30% increase in the number of live XRapid partners in Q2. A 30! Yes, you're hearing that right. A 30% increase in the number of live XRapid partners. Wow! In one quarter, in three months, a 30% increase. A a wow! Right? Wow! Number of XRapid transactions increased 170% from quarter to quarter. Damn! Da -da -da damn! That's insane right there. That's just really crazy. And uh, Darren Boxer here says, Good reading. It appears there were overselling XRP due to CMC figures resulting in a declining trend. Everyone has been complaining about. Now, hopefully, using the more realistic volumes on crypto compare, the reduced selling of XRP should improve the XRP price in the long term. Hmm. Could, of course, be the situation. Moving over into Tiffany Hayden. This is actually a whole thread of the INDIMM. I actually covered this in my previous video. Um, I don't know which one I'll upload first or which one I'll publish first, this one or that one, but it's probably going to be in, in either my previous or my next video. The INDIMM situation. Upload any size file to Ripple blockchain, and it's a really scary thing. Vitsavin replied to this by saying it's really scary and, you know, it's worrisome. And Tiffany Hayden is also saying a lot of um negative things about the project saying that their goal is to crush xrp and now the the host of id imm said you know that this hurting message is now from them but still the situation remains clear that a lot of people are going back and forward about the situation of ind imm and it's a bigger issue than i would have expected crypto art gold at Gold goldson carl on twitter so at goldson carl crypto art said on twitter I have fixed the Mario give. Mario XRP accumulation. Follow me for weekly crypto gives. And I'm actually going to give him a follow right there. He deserved it. This is a very funny, very cool gift right there. I, I dislike the, the, the mark being so big, but again, you know, it, it should because otherwise a lot of people are going to act like it's theirs. And it's a very cool gift. I like it. He possibly could have done these as little X's as well. All the pluses that I'm seeing here. Uh, but the idea is quite clear, and I'm, I'm liking that, all right? Really positive, really cool, and no idea when I'm going to be using it, but it, it's cool to at least have it out there, right? Cool creation. Well done. XRP underscore Al. King Solomon on Twitter said, This tweet aged well, and, and this is something that I've actually been telling you guys for, for a longer while as well. I'll say this again. Very interesting that this was in a Swift presentation. Again, we really have been talking about this for a very long time, and I'm saying it once more and again. This is a tweet from um, June here that he, he quoted, but it's actually already quite a bit older. If we open this up real quick and look at Banks' tweet. Banks says, I know it's frustrating at times, King. Uh, let me actually quickly give King a follow as well. In the end, we have told them dinner is hot and ready and guided for them what room it is in but sometimes dumb go hungry unless you hand feed them but nobody likes a spoiled brat right here it is uh xrp underscore al well i guess this validates rumors of bank of america and ripple consortium membership may 2019 boa bank of america slides uploaded by swift a couple of people tagged and again these are the slides that we've seen before um bank of america merrill lynch you know you can think everything off, uh, or how do you say it? You can, you can just say, like, done, done, done. Been there, in there. Participation, consortium memberships. R3, a DLT firm leading an alliance with over 100 global financial services firms and regulators to develop standards for blockchain in our industry and build the next generation of financial services infrastructure. Ripple, member of the RippleNet Advisory Board, which will oversee the creation and maintenance of Ripple payment transaction rules, formalize standards for activity using Ripple, and other actions to support the implementation of Ripple payment capabilities. And next slide. Innovative example, Ripple cross-border solution. Again, still on the Bank of America Merrill Lynch. Proof of concept, Ripple distributed ledger solutions, remedies, legacy, correspondent banking, infrastructure challenges, and provide bi-directional messaging to enhance payment tracking, data transmission, and enables a enhanced certainty in settlement oh 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 does this sound good swift bank of america this all sounds too good to be true it all sounds too good to be true but it is true it is and this tweet aged well because everything is now falling into place a lot of people are not seeing it yet but everything is falling into place piece by piece it's just a little bit of time that we're waiting
Now, a whale alert, something that, uh, you know, some people were worried about, which I don't. Um, 50 million XRP worth $15.5 million transferred from Ripple to Bitstamp. See, so you got a lot of uh, attention, a lot of likes. It's kind of funny. At one point, we'll just notice again what's going on here and, and why this transaction was sent, which exact Ripple wallet it was from. I can't be bothered to really look it up because I don't care too much. But if you guys do, make sure you check it out. It is out there. I liked it just now. The Crypto Hawk on Twitter said, XRP green and that's it. I said it's time. It's time. XRP to BTC first for the resistance and above XRP to USD will follow very hard. We go now against BTC and the real game begins. Still wondering who is going to be right in a few days. By the way, MoneyGram is wondering, uh, is up, wondering why. Uh, somebody said, or Horea 1108 said, why MoneyGram is wondering why XRP? CryptoHawk replied with, wait and see, it's far from over. Liquidity is coming from everywhere. BTC is passed. Damn, son. Damn, son. Another tweet here from T plus zero. Very bullish XRP market reports. XRP supply from Ripple seems to be slashed by 75% going forward. If we open it up, Ripple decided to pull back from providing XRP over the counter at scale towards the end of Q2, which was uh, one of the real amazing things we, we talked about. There was really a little bit of an issue with the situation, but they fixed it. Uh, 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 this one right now. Future sales. Ripple plans to take a more conservative approach to XRP sales in Q3. As noted, the company switched benchmarks to CCTT and will target programmatic tech sales at 10 basis points of CCTT reported volumes. And then again, Ripple decided to pull back from providing XRP over-the-counter at skill towards the end of Q2 in light of the OTC desk's ability to source institutional demand for XRP in the open markets. Going forward, and according to CCTT, the daily volume for XRP increased in Q2. The average daily volume was... 429 million in Q2 and 150 million in Q1. And last but not least, for reference, according to CoinMarketCap.com, the average XRP daily volume was $1.74 billion. That's a lot of money, right? That's a lot of money. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Last but not least, XRP Darren at Fame21More on Twitter. Someone on YouTube told me they got scammed out of a lot of XRP. They were watching a DAY show and a DIY imposter scammed them. No YouTuber is going to ask for a private key. Never give away your private key. Bob Way, you mentioned a site that lists XRP scam wallets. Please, guys. All right, this is a message to all y'all that are watching this right now. Please do not send your private information. Do not even send your email. Do not send your phone number, nothing like that. I've seen countless of scammers go into the comment section and uh, start a conversation in my name and then ask for people's emails to continue a conversation. I, sorry to say, but I will never ask for your email. I will most likely just ask you to join the Discord, which there is a link for in the description. I will never give you the Discord link in the comment section. Just the Discord link in the description. But I will most likely never tell you to send your email or give me your email. So please don't give it, all right? They're trying to extort money from you. They're trying to take as much as they can and in any way possible and it's so simple with crypto because it's also anonymous please watch out stay alert all the time because these scammers are everywhere right and the bad part about these scammers also is that they really hurt the the name of the space i had one article open earlier today uh which actually discussed the the correlation between scammers and like like negative price in to a certain extent because what happens really is People get scammed. People tell all their friends to stay away from it. The adoption does not happen on a small scale. Let's kill this up a thousand times. And, you know, a thousand times as many people also stay away from crypto, which at one point, looking at how many people got scammed or how many people talk negatively about crypto um, because of somebody they knew or got scammed or whatever, you really can start to talk about millions of people that really want to stay away from crypto because they think it's too dangerous or because one of the friends that they have lost money or, th or things like that. It really can hurt a crypto and especially these cryptocurrencies now that they are small uh it, it can be a detrimental factor of the success uh, in terms of uh time so it can actually add days if not weeks or months to a project success the more scams and, and things there are out there for it and definitely the crypto community is hurting because of the scams but hey we're fixing it piece by piece twitter and facebook are, are trying to do their best as well i'm, I'm thinking maybe instagram as well trying to do their best to fix this all and Maybe at one point, you know, they'll they'll get it done. 
we're going to be seeing, guys. But I'm really bullish on XRP right now. Really quite bullish. A lot of people that I spoke to are buying XRP right this second uh, because it was looking so juicy. And again, even if XRP starts to switch over again into the negative tier, as long as we're up against BTC, that's what really matters. And even if we switch back over again, guys, this has shown us that we're not out there. Or, you know, we're not finished. It's, it's a long road, but we're still there. We're still fighting. And if it doesn't happen right now, if we're not going to take over Ethereum and move over to, you know, competing with BTC, then maybe in a couple of weeks here. Because now the battle has started. And again, this might be one of the days that you're going to have to put in your history books. Because the battle is on, guys. The battle is on. And I'm excited to see who's going to win this. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. Make sure you press the like button on this video. And I'll see you guys again in another crypto video. Take care, everybody. Have a nice day. This was not financial advice. Purely for entertainment purposes only.